guys, it's Jill. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. Welcome to another weekly vlog. So today is Thursday. I know I don't usually start them on Thursdays, but if you guys remember from last week's vlog, I'm going out of town. I'm going to visit my parents, my friends. I'm going to take two dance classes. I'm so excited. I got my stuff packed over there, ready to go. We're going to leave as soon as the kids get home from school. If it's a big if, there's a storm coming, y'all. There's a hurricane. My thoughts and prayers are with all of you in Florida that are in the line of the hurricane. But y'all know Georgia is like right there by Florida. So we here in Charlotte are not supposed to get hit until about three, four today. But currently, Augusta is under like a like a possible tornado threat so I'm gonna be just in constant conversation with my mom yeah go ahead and get on over to Weight Watchers please pray it does not rain you know how sometimes like the storm is coming, so they're like, oh my gosh, it's going to rain so hard, and then it, like you barely get anything. I'm hoping that this is one of those times. I really, really, really am. So I will keep y'all updated, but I got to get on over to Weight Watchers, so I'll catch up with you guys later. Hey guys, so just left my WW meeting, and I'm up this week, and it's so frustrating because last week I dropped like big. And then this week I'm just like up and I'm like, but why? It's so frustrating. So I don't know. I don't know Go this way, but it's like, whatever. I'm all prepped with my meals and stuff like that. So when I go home, I have all of my meals ready to go and I have literally everything planned. So hopefully this week I can drop again a big big number but they have like a really good sale going so when i get home i'll show you guys what i have like in these in these goodies cigarettes i have something to tell you about cigarettes cigarettes y'all know it's almost been two years since i quit smoking i have not had a cigarette not a puff not a nothing okay i quit the day i had my hysterectomy december 20th of 2020 so Usually, let me turn this back off because it's probably annoying. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to flash you. Um, every day up until this point, if I ever smelled a cigarette, I'd be like, oh, that smells so good. And I would like miss smoking, okay? This summer, I crave cigarettes like really hardcore. I have not craved a cigarette and I can't tell you when. And on top of that, today, for the first time since I quit smoking, I smelled a cigarette and I was like, ugh, what does that smell? And I was like, that's a cigarette! And I just got grossed out by it. Am I finally free from that nicotine addiction? Because the whole entire time I smell a cigarette, I'm like, even though you know cigarettes stink, but they still smell good to me until today. So mm -mm, we're gonna celebrate that. Anyways, I'm about to get on the interstate and it's too dang loud in this car. Okay, y'all, I'm back. Um, I need to like get all of the stuff. Cause you know, do y'all leave? Do y'all leave and then make sure that there's no trash, no dishes, no nothing? Because that stuff can make your house smell, especially like if it's just like, you know, um, like there's no like coming in, coming out, all that kind of stuff. So this is what I got from Weight Watchers. These are regularly, I don't know, whatever 30% plus this is. Um, but I, I got these for like $4.19, which I know it's still insane because you only get like five of them in here. But these are actually really good and these are my favorites. So these are the barbecue potato chips. And I think that they're only like two points for a serving. So yeah, two points. So I got one, not two, but three boxes. But listen why. 
they had a really good deal. So this is what I purchased, okay? So I purchased those, and then I purchased this, which is the two ingredient dough kit. Now, yes, I have made two ingredient dough before. I have made like biscuits, I have made pizza dough, and it's good. But I'm wondering if I add my new sweetener that I freaking love, that has like no aftertaste or anything like that, and is like nice and sweet, I'm wondering if that will make it taste better. But I also got this because it also comes with full size seasonings. So I got the cinnamon sugar bagel seasoning and then I got the everything bagel seasoning. And then of course it comes with the molds. So you can make with these, you can make donuts, you can make the bagels. So it, they look like, they look like this. But I'm like, okay, I'm like, where is the recipe? I already know the recipe, but here's the recipe. Basically, you just take, someone said it was two points. This one says three to four points. But you just take some flour. It has to be self-rising flour. You take self-rising flour, non-fat, plain Greek yogurt, and then you just add your seasoning and you can make calzones, pizza dough, bagels bagel bites and you can like do stuffed bagel bites you can do so many things so i just thought it was cool because i really wanted this and then i really also wanted these probably could have got it cheaper but whatever anyways then i got for free this little variety chip pack now i've gotten this before and barbecue is hands down my favorite but these ones are still good too and then I also got, no, I, I forgot I bought this too because I was like, oh, corn muffins. Like, I'm thinking like Jiffy Mix. This would be great for Thanksgiving. So I got this. It's only three points for the whole, you know, yeah, three points for the whole container. And they were telling me to go onto the Connect app and do like all these, like, there's like all these hacks where you can make like all different kinds of things other than just corn muffins. Um, and then I got this for free, which is peanut butter, which is only three points per serving. So excited to try this. Hmm, smells good. It tastes very strong. I don't know, there's something about it. Um, I need to clean off my memory card, hold on. So for this portion of the vlog, I wanna say a huge thank you to Fick Nose for partnering with me on this portion of the vlog, you guys. Let me tell you, hold on one second. Let me, it's moissanite, okay? And it is very much so like diamonds for a fraction of the price. When I put these on, y'all, I've been wearing these for a really long time. I don't know if you guys noticed them in my vlogs, but this is the four carat. They are absolutely beautiful. When you order, you can order from Amazon. You get it in this little packaging right here, which is so beautiful. So perfect for this time of year gift giving season and then you also get your little warranty card you get care tips you get this little thing and then you also get a little card so you want to write your lover or your daughter or your mom or whoever you're buying this for a little note you can it's provided for you which is super nice and then they also have this little bag included so girl you ain't gotta do nothing this is all you gotta do here you go, here you go. And you also can purchase this from Amazon. Mm -hmm. You heard that correctly. I love that for us. So yeah, when I got these, I pulled it out of the packaging and I was like, this metal is like so smooth. And I was like, whoa, this is really good quality. And it's like very blingy and just so, so, so pretty. Let me go ahead and take these out and put these in. Do you see how pretty they are? These are the four carat. And I'm telling you, Monsonite is very popular now with lots of people from earrings to wedding bands to all kinds of things. It is a very, very good diamond replica. It's not a diamond, but it is a fraction of the cost and it looks just like them. So absolutely obsessed. Link is going to be down below in the description box. So make sure you go check them out. And this packaging is also just so beautiful. It all 
literally comes together. So you get this whole entire thing all together. And discount code is also going to be in the link down below as well. Um, so it is 11.25 right now. I think I'm gonna put my Weight Watcher stuff up and go ahead and edit, start editing this video. I need to charge. I wasn't gonna bring my camera, but I'm like, what you talking about, Jill? You know you're gonna bring your camera. And then I have to just double check and make sure, wash these dishes, double check and make sure I have everything. And I think I'm gonna leave early. Like I think as soon as Contrell gets home, if it's not raining here or in Augusta, I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave. So that way, if it does rain, at least we'll be driving in the, during the daytime and not at night. So I will keep you guys updated on when we leave, but we will be leaving. I'm so excited. I can not wait to go home and see my parents and my friends and go dancing. I'm so excited. I'm so freaking excited. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, happy Friday. I'm on my way to dance class. Yo, I am so freaking nervous. I feel like I'm shaking. I'm so nervous. Do not ask me why. The only conclusion or only thing I can come up with is I haven't seen her in like almost three, I want to say three years. This also is like, it's kind of weird being home. Um... Yesterday was crazy going through Charlotte. It was barely even misting and like there were so many accidents and oh my gosh. And then we got to like Aiken or outside of Aiken and it started pouring and it was raining. We went through Columbia. It was like mm, rush hour. So we ran, ran into more traffic. It was insane, but we made it here safely and I am, <laughs> I am going to dance class. And I'm nervous as heck. I've literally been up since 6 o'clock a.m., you guys. It is like 10.45. I have been like, I haven't been nervous till like, I think I started getting nervous about 9.30. But I don't know why I'm nervous. I think it's because I'm, I don't know if it's because I'm going alone. I don't know if I'm going to, I probably won't know like any of the dances or any of the songs. I mean, I might know the song, but not the dances. I don't know, but <sighs> yeah. Oh, that's new. I am gonna catch up with you guys after class and let y'all know. Oh, let me share with you guys a non-scale victory. So I had brought these red workout pants, not knowing if they were gonna fit or not, because I can't tell you the last time I've actually put them on. So I was like, I don't know if they're actually gonna fit, but I'm gonna bring them anyways. I was like, the way that I'm at right now, they should fit, but I'm not 100% sure. I probably shouldn't have done this, but it's okay. It's whatever. Um, so anyways, they fit. And I was like, that was real risky of me to like not know if these things were going to fit or not. Anyways, I will catch up with you guys after dance class. I am so freaking nervous. I don't even know what to say right now. Like, I'm so nervous. Hey, y'all, I'm back. That was fun. Oh my gosh, that was so much fun. Oh, I miss that so much. I miss that so much. The class, the, the class was so hype. I sweat like, oh my gosh. I haven't sweat that, that much in so long. And it wasn't even like hot in there. It was just because I killed it. Oh, I meant to mention too, obviously like I have makeup on right now. Um, and I literally put it on in the dark. I mean, it wasn't like dark, dark, but there wasn't a whole lot of light. And I was like, if this comes out looking good, then I am just that good. So I have to give myself, oh, those are my glasses. I forgot about my glasses. I really need to put them because they're so delicate. I really need to put them in a case. I have a Chanel, clay, uh, a Chanel sunglass I don't think that they fit though. They're sure as hell ain't gonna have any sun today. Okay, it fits. All right, I'm gonna go back to my parents' house, eat some lunch. I don't know what I'm doing the rest of the day. Me and my friends were, me and my friend was supposed, we were supposed to take our kids to the fair today, but considering the fact that it's like all rainy and stuff, we're obviously not gonna go. 
Um, by the way, I edited that part where I was like talking about Florida and like my thoughts and prayers being with everyone in Florida, like especially like in the line of the path and it sounded very insensitive. I wasn't trying to sound insensitive. So my thoughts and prayers are with everyone affected by this storm and this hurricane. Um, I've seen some of the damage and I'm just like, oh my gosh. So oh, I hope y'all are all safe here in North. Well, I don't know about North Carolina today. I know North Carolina, Charlotte was supposed to get storms last night. So I don't know if they actually did, but um, it's been nothing but rain here. And it hasn't been like heavy rain. It's just like drizzly kind of rain and it's very dreary but man I needed that I'm like hyped up now I have energy I cannot wait until tomorrow tomorrow I'm dancing with my friend which everyone was so friendly like there was only one other girl that I used to and I don't even know we really didn't dance together much because when she joined I was kind of in my just gotten divorced I was kind of like really hitting my de my major depression my depressive stage so I had kind of stopped going and stopped dancing. Um, so she was around then. I did not know her that well, but we kind of talked a little bit. And then, is this the right lane? Do I, can, can I only turn right? Can, no, I can go straight here. I'm actually gonna go this way. Um, so anyways, yeah, there's only one other girl, but there was this couple, a couple of ladies that came up to me and they were like, oh my gosh, you like killed it. I was like, I used to dance with Patrice. Even though I only knew like, I think one, I think it was, no, it was two songs. Two songs I had done before. But I was like, I used to dance with Patrice before. And I just, I mean, I still like the fitness marshal, his dance style is kind of sim kind of similar a little bit. So I feel like, yeah. I've, I've been picking up on dances like pretty quickly lately, but it was really good. Um, the kids are supposed to be meeting with their sister today, so I'm trying to catch them before they leave. She hasn't come yet, so she's supposed to be coming and pick them up, and I'm like, you better try to save my babies. <laughs> obviously, I know she's going to, but it's, it's some crazy weather out here, and you know how people drive in the rain, so... Anyways, I'm going to go back, eat some lunch. I meal prepped all of my meals. Um, I'm going to splurge tomorrow, though, but I am hungry. I am very hungry. So, I will probably see you guys. I don't know if I'll really see you tomorrow. I'm going to hang out with my friends tomorrow, like after dance class. We're going to go to lunch, and then we're going to go shopping. I'm really just going to be I eye shopping um but yeah i will check up check in with you guys sometime tomorrow i'm sure yeah. here's to the good days here's to the sorrows if this is a mistake i know about tomorrow i don't want to fight no more because i don't feel the need no more no just wanna make it stay. Hey, hey, hey.
Saturday, right? Yeah. Saturday. I went and I took dance class this morning. I met up with one of my friends and I saw a few a few people from dance class um, that I hadn't seen in forever. So that was really nice. I met with the creator of work and I told her, bring work to Charlotte. Bring it to Charlotte. And then I even told her, I said, look, if I have to be an instructor, I'm like, who has a stop sign and who's going? Um, if I have to go be an instructor, I will. I said, but answer this for me. I said, do I, it, does, does being an instructor include like, include like sales stuff? And she said, yeah, there's a lot of that. And I said, ugh. So I said, well, what about the why? Because the reason why she said that they're not in Charlotte is like to rent the dance studios is expensive. And I said, I figured that because every dance class that I found is expensive as heck. So with that being said, I gave her, I asked her, I said, well, what about the why? So I gave her the why that I'm closest to and she wrote the information down and she said that she'll contact me via Instagram and like let me know. And then I also gave her, I can't remember what other information I gave her. I gave her something else too. But um, that would be really cool. That would be really, really, really cool. And you know, I told y'all about that yesterday. Like, oh, if, if like I could be an instructor, like maybe that would be really good for me. I don't wanna do the sales part of it though, y'all. I really just don't. Like that's not interesting to me. I don't wanna have to yeah, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to do all that. I just want to dance. That's what I told her. I don't want to do the sales part. I just want to dance. So, um, maybe, maybe we'll bring work. I didn't get a picture with her, like, one-on-one. -on -one, um, but I was like, it's okay, I already have one. Um, but yeah, then me and my friend, we went to Panera. We went and did all this shopping over here. We really just, like, did window shopping. I'm telling you, I'm tired the kids are going to meet up with their dad tonight. They're supposed to be going to the fair. And then me and my parents are going to go out to dinner. I'm also going to get my dad in control. <laughs> Y'all know I'm very claustrophobic. Y'all know this. So, um, yeah, I, I can't, I can't, I can't do the car washes. So my car has not been washed since probably like March of 2021. Like I kid you not. It's, it's bad. It's bad. Okay. So I asked my dad if he would take control. <laughs> like, we control can drive, but will you take him up there and y'all, like, get my car washed? Because it needs to be washed. And he's like, oh, yeah, sure. So they're going to do that either today or tomorrow before we leave. So I'm going to get my car washed and vacuum. It so desperately needs to be done. And then, um... The kids are going to the fair with their dad today. Um, and that's really about it. I might also go see my other friend tonight. Go see her house. Because when I left, she lived in another house. So she's moved. And I haven't seen her new house. So I would love to go hang and see her tonight. But I also need to see how I feel. Because, you know, I'm going to have to drive home tomorrow. We're leaving really early because I've got to go home. I've got to do laundry. I've got to meal prep. I've got to order groceries. I've got to do all the grocery stuff. Um, so, yeah, there's that. I wish I had something that I could put this gum in because I don't want it anymore. But, yeah, today has been a really, really good day. It was really good seeing um, my old co-workers, co <laughs> my dance team. Not, 
I was not on a dance team. My dance buddies, dance class buddies. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys. I'll probably see you guys on Monday. Happy Sunday, you guys. I look a hot mess. We made it home safe and sound, as you can see. Um, it was a great trip. There was some stress that I could have done without. Shall be unnamed, and I won't talk about it, but... But I had fun dancing. Oh, my gosh. It was so good to be back dancing in a group setting. I am sore as heck. My legs, my thighs, same thing. <laughs> They're sore. They worked me out for sure. And I just love, I love those workouts because it just, it's the most that I genuinely work out. Like I feel like the lighting is like, all oh, it's like too bright or something. It's whatever. It's the most that I've worked out. Hold on, I gotta fix this. Okay, I don't know if that's better or not. Like the sun is like coming in, but it's also setting, so whatever. But I always work so much harder whenever I'm in a group setting, especially that type of dance is just a lot more fast pace and you have to like really keep up. So you can't, you can't really slack, you can't. So anyways, I loved it, I had so much fun. I really do wanna go home. Um, more often, especially to see my parents and also to take that class. But how to show you guys. Okay, so you guys know last week I did an Ulta haul, right? Well, I got that very, very impressive free gift. Let me tell y'all, I used so many of those things. I took them with me because they were all trial, travel size. And when I go on my cruise, because it's like 99.9.999% that I'm going... I haven't like I'm I'm going I'm going to contact someone like a carnival cruise director to kind of like ask a lot of questions and see like what the itinerary is what can we do on the boat all that kind of stuff family friendly stuff all that stuff so like I haven't booked it yet but I'm probably gonna book it tomorrow so where was I going with that I'm gonna need travel stuff for the cruise as well so I'm gonna show y'all this this purchase, okay, so I was going to go in store because I need to take this back. And then I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot that Elf supposedly has a dupe to, or like has supposedly duped the Stila. Okay, so these are my two favorite Stila liquid eye glitters. It's the Diamond, du Diamond Dust and then the Kitten Karma. These two are my favorites. So I need to find dupes for these. And so I bought colors to see if I could do but anyways I got this for free and we're gonna go through this this is intense the amount of free stuff that I got I will link this down below again like if you can like get this for free add it to your cart this time of year is the absolute best time to shop with Ulta online so again I will link everything down below this is not sponsored by magic links or Ulta but I'm just gonna say now is the time that you want because they have so many good free gift with purchase, free skincare bags or free goodies if you spend a certain amount and it's just the best freaking time. So I'm gonna show you what I got and then I'm also gonna show you a press on nail haul from Impress. So the first thing I got was this Glam Glow which I was going to get, I had this in my cart from the first one with the magic links and I was like oh I don't know I think I'm gonna hold off on it so I ended up getting it this was did I spend $42 on this I thought I spent 25 on it I can't remember but I'll link it down below but I really do love glam glow and this is a little set so this is the bright mud dual action exfoliating treatment oh, i really don't like exfoliating masks though i didn't realize that love the packaging of course but love the rose gold and then this look at how pretty this is this is glam glow bright eyes so it's illuminating anti-fatigue eye cream and then i got again this was my main thing was getting these glitters this this must be all of them so this one was the silver one and I want to see if it I don't think it's like the Stila though I'm very disappointed because I freaking love this silver glitter 
It's beautiful. I've been using it for years. I will continue to repurchase it, or I, I've repurchased it over and over and over again. And I'm gonna see if I'm gonna need to keep repurchasing it or if I can ditch the Stila and go to Elf. So this one is the Stila, and this one is the Elf. This one is bling bling, bling bling. So, oh. Okay, so one thing, and I noticed this at my parents' house too, because I got this package the day we were leaving, and I was just like, let's just, we got it from the package locker, and then we brought it with us. I remember, and the reason why I like this one so much, is that you have lots of different colorful glitters in here. Like, you have pink, purple, green. You have all different kinds of gl glitters. And in this one, you don't. You just have silver. So it's not a multi-dimensional and that's what I really love about this diamond dust. But I don't know if you'll really be able to tell on the eye. Because look how similar they are. So this is the elf one and this is the Stila one. Okay. Sorry I was hating on you at my parents' house, but I just didn't know. So we might have to just go out in some glitter this week. Sounds like a plan to me. All right, and then I got a bunch, because you know it's like really hard to tell. So I was trying to find the one, because I know I love this Kitten Karma. And so I was trying to see which one would be the most similar. It's looking like this one, which is Pinky Swear by e.l.f. is going to be similar. So let's do a little swatcheroo of the e.l.f. And then a swatcheroo of the Stila and see if we have a dupe. I can I can say because I I know this kitten karma, this is gonna be a dupe. I'm gonna be surprised if it's not. I mean, it's pretty dang similar. This one's the elf one, and this one's kitten karma. I want to take this other one. I want to take this one, which is. Flirty Birdie. That's cute. Flirty Birdie. And we're going to put it next. Maybe combine the two. I love glitter. Oh, this this is the dupe. This is the freaking dupe. It is like dead on. Okay. Okay. Well, Stila, I'm sorry. I have been converted. But look at how pretty this one is too. This one is the... What was it? Pinky? Pinky? Pinky Swear? So Pinky Swear, Kitten Karma, and then this one was Flirty Birdie. They're pretty dang identical. Okay, come on. Look at that. And then I got this one. Okay, I'm really happy with this purchase. Okay, this one is Copper Pop. I don't remember how many more they had, but again, I just freaking love glitter. And I think these are like six, eight dollars, and the Stila ones are like 20 something. Oh, look how pretty. And I will say, the Stila ones, like, they really dry out, and I feel like you don't get that much bang for your buck. <gasps> that has gold glitter in it. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. White light, why do you keep messing me up? It's like not wanting to pick up something. Anyways, freaking gorgeous. I am so ecstatic. I don't even know if you can tell, but I haven't even used this Kitten Karma that much. And you can see, I really don't have that much left. 20 something dollars. So I'm excited. And I also like the smaller packaging too. This is a repurchase. I absolutely love these Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump. Um, they're from Tarte. And I got my favorite color, Cherry Blossom, which I actually am all out of. So this was perfect timing. This one didn't look great on me when I was tan, but my most of the year color, pale as you know what, it's perfect for. So then I, I don't remember, I think I purchased this. And I purchased this to get this free. <laughs> it was bigger. But it's okay, this is one of my favorite Glam Glow masks. And again, Glam Glow is like 60 freaking dollars for the original. So I think this one was like 15 or 25 for the 
this is really a baby one, but you still get a lot of use out of these. And then this was the little gift with purchase when you purchase a, a certain amount of Glam Glow. And it's the Glam Glow Youth Cream Rejuvenating Power Peptide. It's a moisturizer. I thought it was a mask. And again, it looked like it was going to be big. So let me let me show you this. This also looked like it was going to be a big size. And look at the size that I got because you also got a free gift with the e.l.f. stuff. So yeah, this is their Poreless Primer Putty. Putty Primer. Okay, now on to the Impress Nails. So I am on the hunt. Oh, actually, one more thing from, 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 from Ulta. And then we can move on. But, um... This, my friend was talking about, it's the Milani Supercharged Brightening Under Eye Tint. And she was talking about how, like, it's like a corrector, right? And you guys know I've been, like, testing out different correctors with the Becca and... Oh. Okay. The Becca and the Makeup Revolution. Well, she was telling me that she likes this one the most because it's most like an eye cream. And it is. It's very easy to blend in it's not like super thick i think that this is not going to give you and it doesn't it probably does not give you as much coverage but i think this is one of those really great things to pop on especially if you're not going to wear makeup or if you're not going to wear a whole lot of makeup to pop on over your eye cream and i should have did one in one but first impression I am kind of liking this a lot. Wear, wear alone or underneath concealer. So yeah. Okay, thanks girl. Um, okay, I'm looking for the, the perfect pink. I have yet to find it. It is not in this haul, but hopefully they'll make it. It's like a pastel, bright kind of pink. I haven't found it yet, but I got this one, which is lovely. This one which is new me, which is definitely like a Barbie pink. These are all shorts. This one is <clears throat> the last of the holiday. They did not have this one out with the original holiday stuff. So that was real. This is really what prompted this. And then I also had like a coupon with them. Like I, I think I spent like hardly like, I think maybe like $10 and then shipping or something because I had so many points. So this is what prompted this haul. Plus I was in a really bad mood. So instead of eating, I shopped, which it's not good. It's not good to like trade one addiction for another. And I know that, but these are so freaking cute. And I don't know why they weren't out with the first ones. Like look at little, look at little Rudolph. So cute. So these ones are definitely one of my favorites. And then you need a really good matte black. So I got that. And then this one, again, I thought it was going to be a nice pink, and it's not. It's not pink at all to me. This one's point pink. These are short almond. So I was like, ooh, I want to try those because I really love an almond shape. But y'all know, like, these, this length right here, it's just, it's, it's hard for me. It's hard for me to function, and I'm trying to. So anyways, when I saw that they had a short, this was literally the only short almond nail that they have, but I was like, I'm gonna give it a try. And this one is in the color Evanescence or shade Evanescence. It's pretty, it's a little, um, is it ombre? It's definitely matte. No, it's not ombre. But I wanted to tell you, I also have a coupon code down below in the description box for you guys. You want to purchase impress nails which you can buy them from walmart target cvs walgreens places like that however the selection is like this compared to the you will you can literally spend hours on the website because they have so many press on nails from different lengths shapes sizes they even have different widths um so yeah very 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 impressive so if you're going to shop online for press on nails I have a link down below and the coupon code or the coup the link is going to save you $10 off a $40 order. So I got these because these are my freaking favorite dang nails. I wore these on a date. So these ones, again, I was looking for my perfect pink and this one's not it either, but this is keep in touch and they're so cute. As you can see, it's like a pink matte, but it is not the perfect pink yet. 
So that's everything from Impress. Let me show you real quick what I got in this free bag. Literally all of this stuff was free. And look, this is literally a full size of the Ulta Beauty Healthy Hydration Gel Moisturizer. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I got a Draw It All Out Formula 10 10.06 basically this is a peel off mask so it's like a detoxifying mask then i got the vici rehydrating cream okay keels ultra facial cream so great again for the cruise and whenever i go home um the glam glow youth cream so i got another one of these la octane this is the serum very fancy very fancy stuff right here. I think I, I also got some cologne and I gave that to my dad. But we've got some Bliss Rescue Golds. We got some MAC Fix Plus. We got some Givenchy. I got a lot of these little sample things, like a lot, a lot of them. We also got a Probiotic Skincare Tula, the Cult Classic Purifying Face Cleanser. Like again, this is gonna be perfect for the cruise. Perfect. And then this is Shiseido uh, eye cream. Not going to see you guys tomorrow because I'm going to be filming and editing all day tomorrow. And yeah, I will, I'll probably see you guys Tuesday. We'll probably do another Target run because that's kind of been our, that's kind of been our Tuesdays. So let's go to Target together on Tuesday. I don't know. Maybe I won't need to go to Target. Who knows? But if I do, I will catch it. <laughs> But I will see you throughout the week. Okay, y'all, I'm back. I totally forgot that I ordered these. And when I looked for my grocery order, I opened the door and I was like, oh. So, got some lashes. Hmm. <laughs> okay, so these, these are the ones, like these are the ones I just took off. Um, these are the ones I wear religiously. I've been wearing them for years. They're my tried and true they're, y'all, when I tell you they're natural, they're so natural looking. They're so comfortable. These I just highly, highly, highly recommend. So they're the Cara Wispy. The packaging has to say Wispy, okay? Wispy, very important, all right? So I got, I don't know how many of those. I'll show you. But I was like, let me go ahead and try these other ones, which I know I've tried them before, but let me just try it again. So I got the WSP. Okay, so I got one of these. And I got two, no, I actually got two of the WSPs and I got one of the D Wispy. So I can't tell, I think the WSP, the WSP is definitely longer than these. This is what I always wear, okay? This is my tried and true day in and day out for like the past let's just say 10 years it's been a long it's been a really long time these are the these are the wsps so these look like they're not as full and they also look a little longer so here's a D D wsp and these are the ones that i normally wear so these ones are going to be a little bit longer and not as full so i'm definitely not going to like these as much but again, I just wanted to try. And then here's the WSP. That's what I just had. Here's the D Wispy. These ones are not as long. So these ones are going to be shorter than your Wispy. So yeah, this is why I love these ones the most. They're just perfect. They're For me, they're the perfect, for my eye shape too, they're the perfect length, the perfect, like, I don't have to trim. I don't have to do anything to them. So these are definitely shorter and the band length looks like it's also shorter too. So this is gonna be better for a smaller eye. But for the most part, I mean, they look dang near identical in fullness and everything. It's just the length and then the, the length of the thing. So yeah, I bought, this is how many? <laughs> They're only a dollar, y'all. Actually, they, they went up in price. I think they were like a dollar fifty-seven, but I freaking love these. I re re wear them. Like I will have these for like probably the next six months or so. And it was like literally I think like thirty bucks. So yeah, those are great. And that's everything. I was like I thought I needed to tell you guys, but no, I need to talk to my weight loss channel. So if you guys are not following my weight loss, 
go follow over there because we got some things to talk about over there that we're not going to talk about here. So I'll see you over there if you're interested. Here's to the good days. Here's to the sorrow. This is a mistake. I know about tomorrow. I don't want to fight no more because I don't feel the need no more. No, just want to make it stop. Maybe it's something in the water. Or maybe we just hit the end of the road. Right now, it doesn't even matter. It's Tuesday, and instead of doing a Target run, I did a Walmart run instead. Mm hmm. Yeah. Anyways, we hit 80K last night, you guys. Ah! It's time to celebrate. And to celebrate, I'm booking the cruise today. All right. You're going home, and I'm going to book this cruise today. We're going. I'm, I'm dead set. I'm like, I'm, I'm, we're doing this. I mean, how can I not? I hit 80K. That's just awesome. So anyways, <sighs> I have lots of work to do today, so you probably won't see me. But we're going to book this cruise, and I'll let y'all know when we do. And let's go, let's shop my closet. We're going to have to, like, decide what I'm going to bring. I have so many dresses, so I'm going to need y'all to help me. Help. Okay? So, I'll see you guys at home. Okay. We are going to book this cruise, okay? Okay? All right. crazy I don't care if you would have told me like five years ago like you as a single mom you're gonna hit 80k on November what is it November 15th and you're gonna be able to take your kids on a cruise out of like yeah right but I'm doing it <laughs> oh my gosh Yo, we have to pick out my dresses. Oh my gosh. I am like, what the heck? We are gonna have so much freaking fun, but my kids, my kids deserve this so much. They deserve this so much. Oh my gosh. I did not think I was gonna act this way. <sighs> okay. Ooh, whoosh. <laughs> Y'all, I know that sometimes I feel like I, like, don't have my life together because I don't. But I just look at, I hope that I'm inspiring someone out there. You know, like, if you're in an abusive marriage, if you're with a narcissist, like, raising children with them, it is one of the hardest things that I've ever had to do. But my goodness, like... I am so freaking proud of myself. Like, I know I don't have the largest following here on YouTube, but I have built this from like nothing, okay? And it like enables me, it allows me to be able to like, oh, provide for my kids like I'm the sole and only provider for my children and some months it's hard as hell and I'm like how am I gonna pay rent this month but every every single month God comes through and it's just thank you from the bottom of my heart for the support the continued support thank you even to the haters because you helped me too um whether you know it or not 
especially all the haters that I have on my weight loss channel. Like, thank you. Y'all are helping me. Um, but it's just like, this is my dream job. I knew from a very early age that I wanted to be different and do something different. I didn't want to work for someone. And like, here I am able to raise my children and be home with them and take them to appointments. And uh, I'm just so grateful. So thank you so much. And I'm excited to continue to see this channel grow. And I'm, con I'm excited to continue to take my kids on more vacations because this is the very first vacation that I am going. Oh my gosh. This is the very first vacation that I am taking them on by myself. As a matter of fact, we never went on vacation as a family. It was always just like vacation was going to see his mom or traveling to go see my parents. Like that was our vacation. One time we went to Panama City Beach and like stayed in a condo. I think I ended up paying for all of it. Um, but like we never really went on vacation and... This is just like literally a dream come true. Like it truly is. And to know I'm doing it alone, like, do I want to do it with a partner? Absolutely. But I made this happen. And, and my kids kept saying, like, we don't care if we don't care if you make it happen or not. Like, it's fine, it's fine. And I'm just like, you don't understand. When you get on that boat, <laughs> y'all are gonna be like, wow, that was so much fun, you know? But I just, I'm so proud of myself. I'm so proud of myself. And again, thank you guys all for the support. Your likes, your comments, your thumbs up, your views. Everything matters. Everything helps. You know, all of my members that were a member of my Patreon, all of my future members, which I think I might hold off now until January to do my channel membership. <sighs> but just thank you. Thank you to sponsors. I'm like doing a thank you speech every <laughs> This is a big deal, y'all. This is a big freaking deal. Like, I'm literally taking my kids to the Bahamas. We are going to party like it's 1999. <laughs> oh my gosh, I am so freaking excited. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna fill out this information, get all this stuff done, and um gosh, I'm excited. Okay. My best friend didn't care about the rules good on the weekends i'll be in fools drifting the deep space so brave and so stupid just like the movies how it's gonna stay in the fight with you just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it each and every high every night with you you and me so clueless dresses okay so I want to eat in the dining room every night so like every night I'm gonna be extra AF and wear a pretty dress so these are my options now I will be there New Year's Eve I'm not sure if New Year's Eve is the captain's dinner or not 
But if it is, then that's okay. I will just wear something to the Captain Center and then I will wear something else for my little New Year's Eve, whatever we decide to do. So I have this dress, okay? This dress is from Shein. I'm gonna put, put up a picture of me in this dress. Let me know, should I wear this to dinner? Should I wear this New Year's Eve? I need a New Year's Eve dress. I'm thinking this is it. I'm thinking this is like the perfect New Year's Eve dress. But let me know what y'all think. Or do you think that this is more like a dinner dress or a captain's dinner? Um, I, I'm thinking, okay, so I don't, I really don't know. Okay, so let me know, it's on the screen. Then you've got the tassel dress which looks so good on me. Like both of these I know look really good on and I feel really comfortable in. So anyways, this one, New Year's Eve, I kind of like this one for New Year's Eve too because it's like all tassel -y and with dancing and stuff. But I also like this for like just a dinner night, like not the captain's night or anything, just like a regular, like say like the first night we get there, okay? Or like the first night we get on the boat. So what do y'all think about this? Yeah, do we agree? Let me know in the comments down below what y'all think. And then I have this. I love this. But this could also be a New Year's Eve dress too. And then we also have this one. Do y'all remember these bridesmaids dresses? Now here's the thing. I feel because it's a holiday, I feel because it's a holiday cruise I don't think this is gonna work but I still want to try it on because it is just so stunning it is so stunning and I think that this would be a really great captain's dinner as well but then I also have this one too which again this one I feel like I could totally wear for a dinner one night and it's like fancy but not like over the top fancy you know so anyways, let's go try these on. Okay, so this one is absolutely stunning and I think it would be perfect for just a dinner. However, it is incredibly tight in the chest. I remember these were like custom made for me according to my measurements. So I don't know, I must have measured my bust wrong or something. I tried, this is what the back looks like. It's so pretty, I love this little rhinestone right there but I can't I'm like I can't get it up right now I feel like I could probably zip it up but it's very comfortable other than in the chest it fits everywhere else and it's such a beautiful color but I'm also thinking like is it holiday I think that this would be more appropriate if I was doing like a spring cruise I swear this color was freaking made for me this dress is so beautiful but it's the same problem it is so freaking tight in the chest. I must have, again, gave them the wrong measurements. Again, this is so pretty though. I can almost guarantee that my kids are gonna wanna go on another cruise. So maybe like spring break, maybe. Maybe during the summer. And then I say, well, summer, this probably wouldn't fit me. That's why I wanna go ahead and wear it now, you know? I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Like if this fit, would this be appropriate? Or do you think I should just stick with the darker? Cause this would be a really good captain's night gown as well. And then there's this one, stunning. Absolutely stunning. I already know my tennis necklace, bling bling, oh, beautiful. Like, yes, I already see it, okay? And then like, Either my silver shoes that are super sparkly or some kind of sparkly shoes. I have I have the perfect, okay, perfect. If I can be completely transparent with y'all, I don't like this. And I really don't want to have to wear shapewear because I'm really trying to be comfortable too. That's the way, that's how it looks in the back. And then of course, sparkle, glitter, eyeshadow, like makeup, like done done, you know? So I don't know. I'm gonna go work, put all this up, and I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Thursday. Just came from Weight Watchers, and I am down this week. But on my scale, I still haven't budged. So I, I, I go more by my scale, obviously, because like I'm like you know, you know, 
not clothed. <laughs> That's like my true weight. And I also haven't eaten and all that stuff. So <sighs> anyways, I don't know. Like, okay. So yesterday there's just some things that are happening that it's like, it's really frustrating. Like something that happened this weekend. That's like really frustrating and emotionally exhausting. And so a talk was had, things were said, of course, it's going to get better, da 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 And, uh, I don't know, y'all, it's something, something big happened again yesterday, and I'm just like, I'm so over this. Like, I'm just so over it. <laughs> so over it. So, uh, I don't know, I'm feeling kind of, I'm, I'm just kind of in a mood today. Do I turn right here? Yeah. But yeah, I'm just in a mood today. Like, I I think I'm also really tired. I really want to go to this dance class tonight. It's also going to be... It's going to be another glow dance class. But I'm just like, I don't know that I have the energy to go. But anyways, I'm on my way to Harris Teeter because I ran out of my fat-free ready whip. When I went to Walmart the other day, I looked for it and they didn't have it. So I was like, okay. But I'm just kind of in a blah mood. I'm just, uh, you know? I don't know. But I'm just like, I'm not going to let this person continue to let this person bring me down. Because it's been, it's been too long and I'm just, you know, like the trip that I had home, like would have been so much better if this person wasn't just the way that they are, you know? So... I'm just, again, I'm just over it. I'm just so over the things. I'm going to park over this way, actually. I'm going to park back this way. But, yeah, go in here. I'm going to double check because I feel like I need something else. Um, they talked about the new changes in Weight Watchers today. It's back to Weight Watchers, by the way. Thank God. God, I could not stand the WW. Like, why did you change your name after however many years you've always been known as Weight Watchers? People still call you Weight Watchers. Just, like, change the name. So they did change the name back to Weight Watchers. I'm not... I'm, okay, so here's the thing. I don't like the fact that you don't... Look at that. Did you see that? Did y'all see that? Okay, watch, watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Hold on. Can you hear it? Hold on. It's better, it's better when you turn it off. Look. That is because this stomach, y'all, has gone down big time. And I was just like... The other day, I was like, I need to push my seat up. Because, you know, when you're like this big, girl, you got to go all the way back. As far back as your seat can go is how you have to go. Especially in a car like this, anyways. But, um, so that's like huge for me. That's like a huge non-scale victory. But, um, yeah, I don't, I don't know that I'm going to like the new one. <laughs> and they, it's like, okay, so you have the choice of whether you do it right now or whether you wait until December 11th. But literally every single time I open up the app, I have to go through this BS. And even sometimes I'll be in the app, like trying to see what all I tracked for the day. And they're like, oh, like, want to get started? This is a new program. I'm like, no, I don't want to, I don't want to change it yet. I want to wait until December 11th. And if you're giving me that choice, then stop freaking asking me. I'm in a mood today. <laughs> But the biggest thing that I don't like is they're taking away the fact that you can, for every cup of non-starchy vegetables that you would eat, you would gain points or earn points. And for every 60 or 64 ounces of water that you would drink, you would earn a point. Not for every. If you, if you drank 64 ounces, you'd get a point. So that's completely going away. And I don't like that because it encouraged me to eat more vegetables. And the team leader had a point. Like you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be like on the treadmill or you shouldn't be eating vegetables because you're earning more points to eat other things. You should be doing it because it's healthy and it's good and you need the nutrients and stuff. So I'm trying to get in the mindset. And she was talking today. It's like all about mindset and it truly is. It's about mindset. But I'm still like, I still want my points though because I know me. <laughs> give me an incentive to eat but then I also understand that there's going to be because I feel like as the program has progressed I have been eating more and more and more veggies allowing myself to have more 
other things. I've also been doing less activity. I haven't worked out since Saturday. I have not worked out since Saturday. And so I'm doing less activity because I'm, but then I'm also eating more non starchy vegetables and I'm gaining like some days I'll have like eight extra points. So, you know, my progress was definitely a lot faster and it's definitely slowing down and that's probably a big reason. So I really do just need to go ahead and switch it over today. I really do because I'm not doing myself any favors by creating these massive salads, getting eight extra points and then using that to have like a bag of Cheetos or, um, I don't know, shoot, with eight points, I could have a bag of Cheetos, five, six, seven, eight, and then something else that's three points. So yeah, anyways, I have noticed that I've been hung, I feel like I'm hungrier though too. So I don't know. I'm going to go into the store and, oh, I need to look to see. I was like, I swear I'm supposed to be getting something else. So whipped cream, oh, a rotisserie chicken. I want a rotisserie chicken. So, yeah. I'll see you guys in there. Okay, y'all. Um, it was nice in there. But I don't really like Harris Teeter. I'm not going to lie. Because I don't really go there much. And then every single time you have to like use this card. And if you don't, then you have to ask someone and be like, hey, I don't have a card. They're like, you want to sign up? I'm like, no, not really. I don't have time. And you really have time. Do you? I'm, I don't come here enough to have a card. <laughs> Why don't they just do away with that junk? Like, seriously, just do away with it. I don't know. Anyways, um, I got everything I needed and the, the whipped cream was actually on sale. So I was like, heck yeah. Those were nice. What are those? Those are like little apartments. It's cute. I like this area of town. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot. It's very nice. <gasps> Start to decorate for Christmas. I see it go up. Let me tell y'all something too. I walk into that store and just immediately you're hit with all the Christmas treats. And it's like, oh, let me see. And I'm just like, Jill, put it down, put it down. But I'm like walking through this store and I'm just like, Christmas stuff, Christmas stuff, Christmas, not stuff, treats, deliciousness. I saw these like pita chips that are supposed to taste like Girl Scout cookies. I'm like, are you kidding me? Oh my gosh. And I wanted them. And I'm like, no, Jill, because you already know. This is cute. Infinity luxury apartments. Okay. Cute. I love it. I really like this area of town. Um, so yeah. What else did I see in there? The Ghirardelli stuff, like the, the peppermint bark. Oh, there was just so much. And I was just like, anyways. I will see you guys at the house because I'm going straight home. I think I'm going to watch some Netflix today. I'm not going to. Actually, I got to work. <laughs> I got to I gotta edit so I can't. But I will see you guys. I will let you know if I end up going to this dance class or not. If not, I really want to go because I really want to step out of my comfort zone. And I also made it a goal on my weight loss channel that I was going to go. And this is the last Thursday because next Thursday is Thanksgiving and she's not going to have class. So this is my last chance of the month to get this class in. So we'll see if I go. I really want to go, but I'm also, I'm not going to lie, I'm really scared to go because I'm scared of the traffic that happens around that time. And it's in a place that I thought, I thought it was one way where I could take back roads, but it's actually another way where I can't take back roads because the back roads aren't like as back roady <laughs> as the other ones that I was looking at or thinking of so we'll see all right y'all so I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog right here if I end up going to this dance class tonight that'll be on next week's vlog but yeah we're gonna decorate next week finally <laughs> I'm like I'm getting a late start decorating um next week is Thanksgiving so happy Thanksgiving because I won't see y'all until next Sunday. 
and Thanksgiving will be over. So let me know in the comments down below what your plans are for Thanksgiving. Um, but yeah, that'll be next week, Thanksgiving. And I don't know if I'm going home or not. I haven't decided. Um, there's a lot of things up in the air because some things just changed and or I don't know. <laughs> so anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. Have an amazing day. Have an amazing holiday. I hope that you enjoy and I love you guys. And I'm so incredibly thank you, thankful for all of you. And make sure you write in the comments down below what you guys are thankful for as well. So love you guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.